Good day everyone. I am Marlene Baloya, an MPA student from Caraga State University, Ampayo in Batuan City. Today, I will be presenting my thesis study entitled Phenomenal Life Experiences of Octogenarians and Nigerians in Las Nieves, Agusan del Norte, Basis for LG Intervention Program. The study assessed the phenomenal life experiences of 17 octogenarians and nigerians in Las Nieves, Agusan del Norte. Specifically, it assessed the privileges and grants received from the LGU and other entities it also ascertained the life challenges of multigenarians and nigerians in terms of health issues, family connections and support, spiritual goodness, community affairs, participation, and leisure and recreation. A phenomenology research design was used to describe the life experiences of the octogenarians and nigerians. The studies and court the theory of human motivation by Maslow and the theory of change by West. As we can see in the figure number one, the research paradigm of the study, researcher got the participants' age, gender, civil status, and number of years of serving pension. Identify the grants and privileges received by the LGU and other entities. Identify the challenges encountered and best practices implemented by the LGU. Also, the researcher identified the status of octogenarians and nonagenarians. Lastly, identify what LGU and the region program we propose. The research methodology, a qualitative research design, particularly a phenomenological research approach was used in the study. And there was a validation of survey instrument. After that, uh, the researcher gathered data to 18 to 99 years old respondents through an one-on-one -on -one interview. After the one-on-one -on -one interview, there was a thematic analysis come up with the findings, conclusions, and recommendations. This is the result of the one-on-one -on -one interview. For problem number one, it's the demographic profile of the participants in terms of age and gender. Based on the data, there are more octogenarians than nonagenarians. On the other hand, more females than males. Conclusions, according to research by Stephen Ortiz Espina and Diana Beltigian, women live longer than men everywhere in the world, but this was not always the case. We know that biological, behavioral, and environmental factors all contribute to the fact that women live longer than men, but we don't know exactly how strong the relative contribution of each of these factors is. It only implies that, life, that the lifespan of a person depends on genetics and lifestyle. In terms of civil status and years of serving pension, it is observed that widower participants had a greater number than married ones with 59%. 35% of them enjoyed and received a pension between 6 to 10 to more than 10 years. 24% who received a pension for 1 to 5 years. For the conclusion, as expected, with the hood increases with advancing age. At their age, more, most of them were enjoying and benefited from their received pension and cannot sustain. In terms of care placed by provider, it is observed that 83% of the participants are living with their children. However, there was one participant living alone. For the conclusion, older people live with their adult children to receive needed care and support. However, there are senior citizens who prefer to live alone because they don't want to leave their traditional residences and live with their children. Recommend recommendation for problem number one, with regard to the demographic profile of the senior citizens, it's important for the Office of the Senior Citizens Affairs or OSCA to establish a data system for data analytics as a basis for policy decision making and proper interventions per age, gender, civil status, and years of receiving a pension and care placement provider. For problem number two, what are the privileges and grants received by the octogenarians and nonagenarians from the LG, Las Nieves, and other entities? Findings, most of them did not receive grants and privileges of the LGU, but there is an OSCA ID provided in order to avail of the privileges and benefits and discounts. From the DSWD, they were beneficiaries of social pension program and unconditional cash transfer. And from the PSWD, in every month of December, they received 1,000 pesos for Fagot Babs in Lulu and Dona. However, they were not able to receive any grants from NGOs and other private organizations. For the conclusion, the privileges and grants received by the octogenarians and nonagenarians are wanting and in separation to their needs and ailing elderly of society. By recommendation, the OSCA may also establish strong linkages with the barangays to strengthen their services towards the senior citizens, considering that they are the most vulnerable sector in the country. The OSCA must have a communication plan on how to disseminate the provision of 
RA994 as to how the implementation of RA994 benefits the senior citizen. For problem number three, what are the challenges encountered by the participants in terms of health issues? For the findings regarding the health issues, there is no sustainable regular health care medication for many participants at times. Herbal medications are utilized and applied. For the conclusion, senior citizens who were at the age of 80s and 90s have frail health conditions that reflect a need for more government intervention. For the recommendation, it is important for the local government unit in coordination with the MSWD office and OSCA and in partnership with the rural health unit and other entities conduct a free medical checkup in every barangay so that the senior citizens will no longer travel, especially at those age 80 and 90 years old. In terms of family support, based on the respondents' responses, family support for the older person is dominant among the participants. Their families cannot also support them adequately. For the conclusion, family connections are still there, but most limited time for visitations and support. For the recommendation, there should be a training and seminar conducted by OSCAR personnel, MSWD, and local government unit for the families of senior citizens on how the proper way to care for the elderly and the importance of proper care for them. Or, in terms of spiritual readiness and community affairs or participation, respondents are seldom going to church on Sundays and attend masses, and they cannot participate and be involved in community affairs due to their physical health condition. For the conclusion, spiritual readiness is greatly manifested by praying. Attending community activities is not hampered by old age. They are still active participants in community events if their bodies allow it. It is recommended that the local government unit through the OSCA in coordination with the MSWD office conduct a survey of the senior citizens who are not able to walk or have difficulties walking, especially those ages 80 to 99, and facilitate the availing of free wheelchair from the PSWD office so that if there are activities in the barangay or senior citizen activities, although they cannot participate, they can be able to witness and watch and even going to Sunday church, they can able to attend Sunday masses. In terms of leisure and recreation, the participants embark on activities that they have casually or habitually done in their younger days. Even in old age, they enjoy leisure time at their own pacing and chooses leisure and creation at their convenience. For the conclusion, they spend leisure and recreation time at their convenience due to their physical and health conditions. For the recommendation, it is important that the barangay in coordination with the Barangay Association of Senior Citizens conduct activities in their barangays for leisure and recreation that are appropriate for all senior citizens, especially those in their 80s and 90s, example, mind games, movie showing. For problem number four, what best practices are implemented by the LGLS Nevis in providing social privileges and grants and other programs and services to octogenarians and nonagenarians? For the findings, there was a simple recall to refresh the minds of the participants since some of them can't remember what privileges and grants and other programs and services they are enjoying or some activities they have participated. For the conclusion, they were programs and services given by the LGU to the senior citizens. However, most of them become forgetful and cannot remember due to their old age. For the recommendation, it is important for the OSCA personnel, the MSWD office, and local government unit of Les Nieves to continue implementing programs, services, and activities for senior citizens. For problem number five, based on the results, what LGU intervention programs may be proposed? Most of them wish to receive cash grants and additional social pension. For the conclusion, financial assistance for senior citizens is needed especially to those who were at the age of 80s and 90s, since most of them are frail and sickly and no source of income. For the recommendation, it is extremely important for the local government unit together with the OSCA to evaluate and assess all the recommendations made by the participants and look into viability and feasibility. Further, this study also concluded that aging is a concern for all especially those in their age of 80s and 90s. The lives of the octogenarians and nonagenarians have not been easy. They are very challenging and the government invention to give them welfare and protection to ensure that they are happy and have fair quality of life even in their garden years. Before I end my um, presentation, let me share with you a quote from Joseph. Aging is just another word for living. Thank you.